Second half here at the Riverbank Arena in the football five-a-side. This is the men's bronze medal match between Spain and Argentina. No score in an exciting first half in which certainly the better chances fell the way of the Argentines. Although that was virtually exclusively early on in the opening ten minutes of the game. Chances towards the end a few and far between. Spain just bursting through. They went mainly to Spain towards the latter stages of that half, but the Spanish chances weren't as clear-cut as those opportunities that Argentina had in the opening 10 minutes of this game. So 25 minutes a half, so just underway, 30 seconds played in this second period. A reminder that the goalkeeper's fully sighted but they have to stay in that little rectangular area. You can just see the Argentine goalkeeper there, Guido Consoni, who hasn't really had to make a save in that first period. Not a save of any note anyway, and certainly nothing like the two splendid stops that Alvaro Gonzalez Alcaraz made, the Spanish keeper. Argentina then in the blue, blue shirts and black shorts, and the blue socks and Spain in this all-white kit. But for those of you who are football lovers, in some ways in that kit, they look less like Spain and more like Real Madrid. This might not go down to one in Barcelona and one or two other points in Spain. Solid tackle there by the Spanish defenders. Padilla. He's got the decision there, the Argentine, Padilla. He was blocked off. A personal foul recorded there against the number six, I think, of Spain. He's their captain, Adolfo Acosto Rodriguez. Padilla and Belo again are the two players over the ball. Getting taken short. Belo went over, but it was clearly a good tackle. No foul there, but he does win the corner. Last touch off a Spanish defender. Well, this time they have conceded the advantage there. Argentina just able to allow that ball to roll out, guided by their goalkeeper. He's the guide in that last third of the pitch. All the middle between the, uh, the broken lines you can see at either side of the pitch. The, the, the coach is the player's guide there. And then in the attacking section of the pitch, I say attacking third, it's not actually a third precisely, but the, uh, the guide there will be a specially sighted guide. That is a guy who taps the posts at the free kick to allow the players to know exactly where they are shooting. Oh, 
Padilla for Argentina. It's a bruising game, or it can be. That's a really good run here from Spain's number four, Munoz Perez. Not quite matched by the finish, but he has won the corner there. Francisco Munoz Perez. Midfield player. Might have been on target that as well, had it not been blocked. Spanish corner cleared. El Hadoui, I think he was a bit lucky to get away without conceding a free kick though. He was clearly holding his man a little earlier when the Argentines broke. It was a good tackle that time by El Hadoui though. Akadi, it's a good pass down the line. Can Bello reach it? Oh, not quite unfortunately for him. Oh. to hurt that blow to the face. Don't forget, it's not like receiving a football in the normal game because, of course, you're not expecting it. <laughs> Rodriguez. That's good play by the Argentine captain Bella. Just knocks it into the danger zone, but unfortunately for the Argentines, Lucas Rodriguez. Only plays for Cordoba. That's the Cordoba in Argentina, obviously, not the uh, not the one in Spain. And two substitutions taking place here for the Spaniards. Restart from the Spanish, but it's a good block from Cardi. But he has stopped in his tracks by a good tackle. Bello off the rebound boards and he's still going forward. This is Alfredo Cudrado Freire. Alfredo, 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 Alfred
Bello crowded out by all four of the Spanish outfield players there. We're all within about three or four yards of him. Still going here. Acardi goes down. Last touch off the Spanish defender. And another corner to Argentina. Spaniards from that corner, but Acardi has got it back. He's looked very dangerous when he's got the ball at his feet. Number three, Acardi. Spanish restart. in the way of that Spanish pass. Now it's Bello again. Clever play but just couldn't take the ball. Rightly the official awards the restart to the Spaniards. Argentina having the lion's share certainly of territory but they haven't made a chance in this second half as good as those two that they had early on in the first. The stoppage here. Spanish player Dan, I think it's the number eight. Cuadrado Reire. So Alfredo has left the pitch and certainly looked in quite a bit of trouble there. We'll restart then with ten and a half minutes played in this second period. Clock. You can see on the left of your screen when that is at 50 minutes, that's the end of the game. Are we about to have a goal? Should be a corner. Superb dribble. Oh, what a shame. What a shame for Lucas Rodriguez. The outstanding dribbling skills of the match so far, I think. Both feet went one way, then the other. 
but then completely missed his kick. Sonny, the Argentine keeper, will restart. <laughs> to Captain Bello, good dribbling skills, but uh, good tackle that as well from Adolfo Acosta Rodriguez, the two captains up against each other there. Here is Acosta Rodriguez into the rebound boards. Then it's Akadi who brings the ball away. Munoz Perez. That's the first man. His way through was blocked there. Oh, you can see against. Royland Padilla. Substitution for Argentina, leaving the field number five, Silvio Velo. Replaced by number ten, David Peralta. Captain off then, Peralta back on for Argentina. Now can the Spanish at least force Consone into a save? But almost 38 minutes of this game and so far they haven't managed that. Slightly got his angles wrong there. Antonio Martín Gaitán. Rangy Padilla, not an easy man to get past. It's Martin Gaitan discovered there. Padilla coming forward. And still, but he can't reach the ball. An Argentine free kick. Foul on Acardi. That's Peralta, that's no foul though. run from Martin Gaitan and he's lost the ball it's a free kick
Substitution for Spain, Lydia Field, number nine, Antonio Martin Gaitan. Replacing number ten, Yusuf El Hadoui Abi. Yellow card there against Froilan Padilla. You can see from the clock, we've got exactly 10 minutes to go of normal time, 25 minutes per half. This bronze medal match between Spain and Argentina. Argentina have had the better chances. And Spain here in all white with the free kick. Zardo Carrasco. Oh, good tackle. It's a certain foul there by Munoz Perez. And a yellow card for Munoz Perez. I don't think you can have too many complaints about that. Sure, the Spaniards need to build a wall there. They struggle to score from just inside the halfway past a, a sighted goalkeeper. It's Argentina coming forward again, though. Down they go. But that's just a goal kick. Peralta is the man who went down. No infringement, though. Spanish corner then with eight minutes to go. Another foul, another foul against Munoz Perez. Just got to be a little bit careful.
It's a friendly arm from Alvaro, the goalkeeper. Some danger, I think. Munoz Perez of losing his head a little bit there. Substitution for Argentina, leaving the field number 10, David Peralta, replaced by number 5, Silvio Vela. fact that foul the magnitude of it judged to be enough for Argentina now to have a penalty Angel Deldo just coming off Padilla comes back on, this will be Bello. So a chance here for the captain, Silvio Bello, to really make a name for himself. Over the bar. It's not the actual penalty spot if it gets to a shootout. The penalty spot in the shootout is right on the edge of the D. a really good chance for Argentina to take the lead there though still not easy from there though for an unsighted footballer to beat a, a sighted goalkeeper Spain won't keep that in we're into the last seven minutes of this match now Padilla, who's proved himself to be a, a very tricky customer. Another free shot opportunity here. Again, it will be the captain, Silvio Bello. Didn't force Alvaro into a save last time. Well, he forced him into a very good save this time. I think Alvaro unquestionably the man of the match in this game. That really was an extremely good save. Ball drilled very, very hard there by the Argentine captain, Bello. He made two splendid stops in open play in the first half as well. Don't forget the gold and silver medal match, the, the final will be played not quite immediately after this, but uh, probably won't be too much of a gap between uh, the two games. We'll be at 15.30, 3.30 in the afternoon, GMT. That's about 40 minutes time at the final. That, of course, between Brazil and France. Well, rightly, room, that wasn't a foul. Not much contact there. Munoz. Perez going forward, can't keep the ball in play. He's a very clever player, Rodriguez. Can't quite keep the ball in play. A 
warm hand for the dribbling skills there of Lucas Rodriguez. Too bad for Argentina, no end product there. We've got a player down. I think it's another shoelace problem. Last five minutes then at the Riverbank Arena, a warm and sunny day for this bronze medal match. <coughs> Spaniards have a corner. Argentina, if they don't prevail here, will be kicking themselves really. All the best chances have come to Argentina in this match, but still, the scores remain deadlocked at nil-nil. Can Spain go and nick it now? It's possible. Zardo Carrasco couldn't reach that ball, but now he's won it back. In fact, he's left it for El Hadoui. El Hadoui shoots, good save. Comfortable, really, in the end for Guido Consoni. Oh, it's a great dribble. Here's a shot. Oh, off the post. Off the post from Silvio Bello, the captain. That really was unlucky because this time he'd beaten the goalkeeper all well, ends up. Once again, quiet, please, while the game is underway. Quiet, please. Bello just gives the, uh, the ball back to the Spanish. Timeout called. It's nil nil. We've got three and a half minutes to go here. So back underway then with three and a half minutes of normal time remaining. So this is Silvio Bello, the captain of Argentina. 
who has come closest to scoring. We saw during that timeout the replay where he hit the foot of the post. Pretty much square on. Oh, that's a foul. That's going to be another yellow card. Against Bello, possibly just getting a little bit frustrated. He's had two free shots at goal, one that went over the bar, one which was splendidly saved, and then in open play in the first half. He had a low shot brilliantly saved by the outstretched left leg of Alvaro González Alcaraz, the Spanish goalkeeper. Spanish free kick. Just over two minutes to go. Stumbled on the ball there. I think Acosta, the uh, Spanish captain. Here he is again, Adolfo Acosta Rodriguez. Quite get up in time to reach that loose ball. Last minute then of this match. Costa Rodriguez was dribbling sideways for a long time, but now he goes through and shoots wide. Just ran away off his foot, didn't it? That last touch off the right, taking it slightly away from his left. Would have certainly been a goal to grace a bronze medal match had it gone in. Last 30 seconds then of normal time. Stumbles his way through, he might still get to the shot. Right on time. There goes the referee's whistle. So nil-nil, Spain versus Argentina. Extra time reserved just for the final. The format of the penalty shootout. So it's best of three. Penalties each, alternating between sides. Best of three penalties for each side now. And then to sudden death if they're level after the three penalties. So they'll decide who's taking the penalty. I think Argentina will reflect that during the game they were the better side and certainly had the better chances. In fact, it says four shots so to two, but ago, those Argentina, those Antigua, Argentina chances were really good chances. Hit the post and three absolutely splendid saves shooter. from Alvaro, the Spanish goalkeeper. So back in a moment with the penalty shootout. London, Show your support, please. 
for Spain. And Argentina. Some slash and tall. So ladies and gentlemen, one more time, nice and quiet please, while the penalties are being prepared and being taken, by all means, celebrate the goal. But please put your hands together for our bronze medal finalists, Spain! And so to the penalty shootout then for this bronze medal in the men's five side It's Spain to shoot first. Best of three penalties. And then sudden death after that if the scores are still level. Antonio Martin Gaitan will take the first penalty for the Spanish. Guido Consoni is the Argentine keeper. Guy just marks out the left and right posts. Oh, great penalty. Antonio Martin Gaitan. Well, he really struck that well. Lucas Rodriguez then to take the first Argentine penalty. 
He thrilled us all with his dribbling skills during the 50 minutes of the game. Can he convert the penalty past Alvaro Gonzalez Alcaraz? Oh, good save. I think he saved. I think he got his hand to that. Either that or it might have struck the top of the crossbar. Well, it's a shame for Rodriguez because he played so well during the 50 minutes of the game when he was on the field. Marcelo Rosado Corasco. Left footed player. This to make it 2 0. And that would make it very, very tough indeed. Smaller goalkeeper, the, uh, the Argentine keeper, Cassoni. Oh, no, stab that wide. Well, it's always a disappointment to miss a penalty, but to miss one where you don't make the goalkeeper work. So Alvaro again sets himself on his goal line. Spain one up in the penalty shootout, but this penalty in hand. This is Bello, the captain. Oh, that's another good save. Another really, really good save from Alvaro Gonzalez Alcaraz, and it remains 1 0. And when he watches this match back, Bello will be sick to the back teeth of the Spanish goalkeeper. And the post as well. Because Bello has done everything but score in this match. This is Guerra Tejuelo. I don't think he actually came on at all during the game. If he did, only for a, the briefest of moments. But he's got a chance now to win it for Spain. They're one up. If he gets this, they've won. They've got the bronze. And he hasn't just wide. Thought that was going to the top right-hand corner just for a second. So this, to take it to sudden death, it's Spain's bronze medal if Angel Deldo misses this penalty. Alvaro, already the man of the match for Spain. Oh, and he saved it. Deldo struck it firmly, but it was straight at the goalkeeper. And it's Alvaro Gonzalez Alcaraz, really, who has won it for Spain. Splendid performance. Argentina, the better side within the regulation 50 minutes. That is unquestionably the case. But they're beaten to the bronze medal by the Spaniards, who win the penalty shootout by a goal to nil. Spain with the bronze. And Argentina left to reflect on what a cruel game Ladies football can be. Please show your appreciation for the marvellous efforts by our fourth place side at London 2012, Argentina. But London 2012 bronze medal winners,
So one set of medals has been decided. There are, of course, two more to go. And it is our gold medal final between France and Brazil that kicks off very shortly indeed here at the Riverbank Arena. Our gold medal finalists will be out onto the field very shortly indeed to warm up. And ladies and gentlemen, the medal presentations will take place here on the Riverbank Arena turf. After the conclusion of the gold medal match. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation to our fourth place side at London 2012, Argentina. But the winners of the London 2012 bronze medal, Spain!